On Monday, we gave Montana State Bobcat fans a glimpse at Missouri State ahead of their game against UT Martin. Today, we look at the Skyhawks, who could very well play Montana State in two weeks if they beat the Bears on Saturday. UT Martin is led by head coach Jason Simpson, who has been there since 2006. He has a 99-78 and record heading into their game on Saturday. They finished atop the Ohio Valley Conference with a 9-2 and record. This is their second playoff berth, and thanks to their great season, Simpson is one of 17 finalists for the Eddie Robinson award which goes to the best coach in the FCS. On offense, the Skyhawks are a run-heavy team. They've run the ball 157 times more than they've passed. A two-lane transfer senior quarterback Keon Howard is at the helm of the Skyhawks offense. He's a dual-threat quarterback who has 1,800 yards passing and 15 passing touchdowns. On the ground, he's averaging 4.9 yards per carry and has 472 rushing yards and 10 rushing touchdowns. Right behind him in the backfield is senior running back Peyton Logan, who has been an animal running the ball. He's averaging a massive 7.5 yards per carry, which is second in the FCS on 131 attempts for 982 yards. The man who has been getting the touchdowns is redshirt freshman Zach Wallace. He's punched the ball into the end zone 14 times. On defense, the Skyhawks are a little above average. They're ranked 40th in points allowed, 41st in total defense, and 36 in rushing yards allowed. Senior linebacker John Ford has been all over the field for UT Martin. He is second on the team in tackles, tied for first with three interceptions, and and has five tackles for a loss. Montana State fans will find out Saturday at 4 p.m. if they play the Skyhawks. The game will be broadcast on ESPN+. In Bozeman, John Miller, MTN Sports.